Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for this week, so the 26th to the 3rd of March. We're going to dive straight in. I do have a different mic this time. This is actually my old podcasting mic. Um, <laughs> it, I feel like it's so windy outside and it's really windy inside too. Like you can unfortunately hear it, uh, but this mic actually drowns it out a lot better. So that's why <laughs> maybe I'll use this one. It's not so visually attractive, but it's what it is. It works. Let's see for you guys. Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you. Initial A could be significant. All right, you have yang energy. That's a creative power coming within you. This is amazing. You have loyal hearts coming through as well, Scorpio. So there could be uh, some sort of relationship coming up for you guys. Uh, if these messages come together, then this could be a very powerful, passionate uh, relationship. And there is new passion coming into that relationship. Or if it's outside of that, then you guys could actually be coming up with like a new idea that could be very beneficial to your future and to your motivation and ambition moving forward but let's let's carry on you have treasure island this came out for all of the water signs so all everyone with water sign energy is getting some sort of delayed um reward for something that you did in the past okay uh, interesting let's carry on let's carry on for scorpios a very good week for you guys from what i can see but let's not speak too soon wow <laughs> you got daughter value that is a lot of abundance money anything that you find valuable is coming your way is opening up for you all right one more you have happy fa you guys have a great week i just have to say that all right happy family coming through this is like the ten of cups card almost so this says that there's a lot of emotional fulfillment happening between you and your community whoever is your family you know whether it's blood relations or whether it's your soul family all right then there's a lot of happiness coming through this is like sunshine after difficulty okay so this is really amazing you have a new burst of life coming through new energy coming through full of action and um if you imagine like a ball of energy like that's where your life is going relationships and we spoke about the rest already so let's see what your energy is like this week for my lovely scorpios you have the page of wands that feels like that yang energy you guys could be receiving like a really good news like good news or a good opportunity coming away a good idea you're hearing about it and i think it, it sparks something within you it's about using your creative power here you have the chariot so something about some sort of news is going to allow you to travel or to move forward um, or again it's something that makes you feel motivated to achieve a dream or a goal here whether this is outside of yourself or not, I'm not entirely sure. I think it'll be different for everybody, but it does represent some sort of like just a a soft idea. It's nothing like big and bold. It's not an ace of wands, but the yang does remind me of an ace of wands. It's almost like you hear someone say something or it's something that happens within your own mind, Scorpio, and it makes you feel really motivated. Yeah, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go and get it. The chariot chases the star, chase, chases its dreams, goals. Um hope so there is a lot of movement uh coming through for you actually which is amazing just make sure that you're balanced you definitely have some sense of travel coming up six of swords again is about movement you're moving forward you're moving away from chaos moving into much calmer times moving towards stability even for some all right there definitely could be some travel coming up and this could be you know uh, really good news about a vacation or a travel being accepted i don't know what it is um but definitely some movement all right one more please for scorpio's energy this week Sound of Pentacles reverse. That's interesting. This came up on top of the Page of Wands. Something may have been getting you a little bit bored. All right, maybe it's your current work. Maybe it's your current like schedule. The Page of Wands feels like something different sparks life into something that you've been working on for a while and felt quite bored about or felt like giving up on. And it kind of changes something here. And, and you're no longer going to be so worried about the things that you were worried about because of this announcement of some kind you're able to take a break from something or move away from that energy that can sometimes be quite you know a bit boring and whatever 
that's reversed so i actually kind of like that energy what's your blockage then please for the week scorpio the devil <laughs> but you have the four of swords your blockage is that there might be potentially this devil energy lingering the devil represents anything from fear low vibrational energy low vibrational people um temptations of any kind bad habits you know it's the things that make us feel stuck things that make us feel in a uh, controlled by something and out of control the four of swords is saying that you're healing from something so maybe there is like past connections or history that sometimes lingers within or there is this element of fear but the four of swords is telling me that you're healing that energy anyway you're, like, you're facing it you're addressing it you've overcome the worst of it so it's not so much of a blockage here it's just maybe that you might be feeling quite sad about the fact that it's still on your mind but you're the magician here so <laughs> the magician is all about being the master manifester in your life by being able to visualize what it is that you want and desire and being able to bring it into your reality so this is really amazing um again being able to use and uh, being resourceful of what you have to be able to turn it into the things that you want so this being a blockage i completely see that you are uh being a really good manifester and you are beginning new cycles um so this is great that devil energy is something that you are already kind of addressing and healing from. So it's not exactly a blockage. I think it's something this week that you are going to be fully addressing and, um, and taking your power back from. Okay, that you're healing from whatever was in your past that that, then, whoa, that, that devil energy is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Couldn't get my words out there. Um, let's use a different deck to clarify that. The devil, please. The tower cards. This could be a, someone that you separated from or had a really big explosive argument with. Like that argument clearly was necessary in order for you to cut ties with that devil energy. Okay. This happened in a very messy way is what it feels like. Um, and both came, came crashing down. You know, I'm almost seeing that this is a situation that was quite traumatic, which is why the four of swords is here. Again, it, if it's not outside of yourself, then it could be like internal. You have a, a page, sorry, eight of pentacles in reverse, which is kind of telling me that maybe you worked with this person or ha was working on something with this person, planning on working something with them. Um, so that fell apart with it is almost the case. Like I am feeling like the tower is really about something being built on the wrong foundations. And again, I feel like this was not the best of connections as much as it can be tempting and passionate like the devil can be um it's not stable it's not built on you know true love or true unconditional um care all right because somebody didn't have that or again it was just purely just passion it's just purely just fun or whatever the the tower card is almost like something needed to fall apart for this connection to fall apart like it's almost like this was not an easy escape this could be very spiritually again i'm just gonna say what's on my mind because i've been i have had a habit scorpio of overthinking my messages a lot and i'm like should i have said that like am i saying the right things but i would just say what's being given to me it's almost like that tower had to fall with it so again if you were building on something with this person that kind of had to collapse in order for you both to kind of break apart like i'm almost seeing that there was something external to you both something had to happen to that for you guys to yeah something had to happen for you guys to fall apart because it's the only way to really cut the tie of something i don't know if that was like a soul contract whatever you you have moved away from it you are in this healing energy it's just now that you're stepping into this manifestation energy which is now with the love by the way if that was a relationship and you're trying to manifest true love because this is now guided by the, the angels it's not guided by the devil there are no chains on these people they have freedom of choice and whether they want to be with each other or not um the love is with the page of pentacles and the queen of pentacles there's a few stories for those of you if this was in terms of love um and you had to break away from somebody here um I am seeing that you can manifest true love and this will be someone who there might be a bit of an age gap with, but this is actually a very stable, very solid foundation. Someone who you definitely you will end up having children with if you want, uh, building something with uh, later on because you now have a match of energies, something that's much more stable. You know, the eight of pentacles was in reverse with that devil energy. So with this one, very stable. The both of you are stable. So whatever you guys create will be stable. That's the thing. 
Okay, Scorpio. Um, now, for those of you not dealing with love, the lovers is about choices as well. So it really is whatever it is that you're manifesting, it's the polar opposite of what you were doing with somebody else that fell apart and it was really, you know, built off of the wrong things. Something that you're healing from and have healed from. You're able to build it, but again, much more stable. Clearly in terms of partnerships, it has someone else involved, I will say. And it, that's what I'm getting, but again, it can be different for everybody. Um, so this could be in terms of work, for example, like maybe you end up having to lose, you know, maybe the whole company got shot down. That's the only way, I don't know. Whatever your story is, you're able to rebuild and it's much better. You're getting the much better version of what, what happened to you that you were healing from, okay? I hope that makes sense. I know it's very vague, but it is a very vague message, general readings. All right, so let's go into each of these uh, energies. So you're getting motivation back, which is good. Let's look at the yang, please, spirit. You have justice and the page of cups. That's very interesting. For some of you with the tower card being here, justice, page of cups, some of you, this could be like an apology comes through to, and brings you some sort of energy. Could be a new contract, like a new emotional beginning for some page of cups usually can be an apology especially with justice here libra and energy is about making something right making something fair um but it feels like there is some like what's this um the yang energy let's use a different deck mm, two of swords seven of pentacles and the queen of cups we do have some emotion involved in here which is very interesting the moon as well Right, two of swords making a decision on something. And again, that might feel like whatever that seven of pentacles is, queen of cups. I feel like you're adjusting something and had to change something, but it's like a new beginning anyway. I think it's good for you, but there may have been like a little bit of like a need to figure out whether you wanted to really incorporate that in your life, whatever this beautiful yang energy is. I think you overthought it or you are, are overthinking it. Seven of pentacles is in reverse. And this is what's helping you to move forward is that you're letting go of something that maybe you were working on or an idea of what something was supposed to be. Like this fluff just flying around. So that you could actually step more into a very passionate energy. The yang energy is all about action. It's like masculine energy is something's being brought to life due to your ambition towards something. The desire for action is desire. It's fiery, you know, like... It's good. It's good energy. So it will power, you know, all that stuff is coming through. But it maybe meant that you had to let go of something that you were working on a lot or had some sort of emotional connection to. I'm not seeing anything bad about this new thing. You know, justice, something will be made balanced. It's just that maybe it's a new emotional experience for you and it may play in your feelings at times, but it doesn't feel bad. All right. The loyal hearts car. Let's see. Seven of Wands, Four of Wands. This says, despite the odds, you will be successful in terms of your relationships with people. Four of Wands is also about reaching a goal, but because we're speaking about loyal hearts, uh, some of you, this could end up being an engagement with somebody. All right, if you're in a relationship, Seven of Wands, Four of Wands, if you've had any difficulty together, it feels like despite the odds, this is still going to pursue. For some of you, it could be like a long distance or there's just some challenges. This will be fine. For those of you who are single, Seven of Wands to the Four of Wands, maybe you are, you know, trying to battle off a lot of you know the people that you don't want in your life you could have a lot of options still but nothing that you want um feeling like you're having to do it all alone i do see that someone will come in and someone that you can actually like share your problems with i know you shouldn't do that well you shouldn't rely on someone to fix your issues that's not why we get into relationships but it is definitely someone who can hold your hand while you're going through something and help you when necessary like the two sorry the four of wands is supposed to represent like a pr like this is like one person and the other person but together they there is an abundance between them and they come together they connect so yeah and it's also called a marriage by the way so yeah there is a, an engagement coming up for you in the near future uh let's see what the treasure island is about you've got the king of swords all right might be needing to make sure you're looking at all the facts of something ten of wands this is coming from a very exhausting journey that you went through Okay, the Ten of Wands is being able to finally release something. Page of Swords and a King of Cups. That's interesting because it does feel like maybe, I mean, this is you, Scorpio, the King of Cups. Maybe somebody is. Uh, someone could actually be like letting something off their chest here. King of Swords is like 
I mean, he's definitely here to speak. And I feel like this is someone that you're triggered by. And I'm going to show you why. Because I'm going to say that you're the king of cups because that's your Scorpio energy. It's almost like someone's coming in to apologize or someone could be wanting your help. Like the, the ten of wands, the body language of it is almost like wanting forgiveness. It's like trying to let something off their chest here. I don't know. It's almost like you can't see their face. They're kind of doubled over here. Page of Swords though, you're not very trusting of this person at all and you have some things to say quite clearly like you are very triggered by this entry. Um, and your back is turned, really. I think the part of you that wants to say something is that part of you that's triggered. But really, when you are in a, a very, like, when you're in your own energy, if that makes sense, and stable, and don't allow the emotions to overrule you, your back is already turned to this. Whereas there's a part of you that wants to just speak your mind is what it feels like. But Ten of Wands, it does feel like there is somebody who wants a conversation with you. I don't know how that is your reward, but I mean, maybe some of you needed that to fully let go of something. Seven of Swords and the Empress, someone definitely uh, was very sneaky when it comes down to an Empress in her life. This could be you as the Empress, if I'm going to say it that way. Seven of Swords is somebody kind of maybe lied or a you know, this is lying, cheating, stealing card. It's also like, look at the way that it's being shown here. Someone knew what they was doing when they went behind your back here. And that's what it is. I think that there is an apology here, but I think maybe the reward of this is that maybe you are being finally confirmed that you were right about something. I do feel like someone's going to sing your praises. Ten of Wands. The Emperor. Ten of Wands is the Emperor. Now, I mean, maybe this is, I don't know, Seven of Swords. I don't really like the Seven of Swords being here. But with the Ten of Wands clarifying, I mean, the, the Emperor clarifying the Ten of Wands, it feels like someone's finally taking responsibility for and saying something. That's why I'm saying they're singing your praises. Is I don't think they're coming in and, and BSing you. I think they're coming in and actually saying some truth here, but it doesn't mean that you have to take them back in. Whoever this is, friend, colleague, boss, I don't know. But it's like someone's finally taking accountability for something about what they did to you. It's what it feels like. But your back is turned to this, as I said already. Queen of Wands, all right, feeling more confident, feeling more passionate. And protecting yourself as you move forward with this uh, new path of yours that's much more stable. Like you are protecting your heart space. I don't think you're going to accept this. You might accept the apology, but you're not accepting this person's presence in your world. Like that's just what it is. That's what it feels like. You're protecting your peace. And I think this person disturbed that. Okay, let's move on to door to value that's opening for you. Three of Wands. I think you are waiting for a manifesting. The Empress, something that you are working on. It's about taking control. Some of you could definitely be like uh, self-employed or you could be your own boss or you could be waiting for your boss to say something. We have the Two of Cups and the Four of Cups, which is interesting because Four of Cups can sometimes be um, rejection or it could be someone not really seeing an offer that's in front of them. Two of Cups is a conversation here. So for some of you, the door to value could be maybe making an offer to somebody uh, collaborating for some the hermit which is so interesting because the hermit came out because some of you don't want to do that some of you are very fixated on doing something on your own but I actually kind of feel like maybe um, a situation might you and somebody else could actually do something but again the, the, the nine of pentacles is coming through that's so interesting I wonder what this is moon this is just like certain feelings and emotions i think you have a lack of trust when it comes down to working with people and that's okay i mean it makes sense i think you've been through something you're worried about what's hidden or hidden intentions so you are rejecting an offer that's coming in or thinking about it the hermit and the page of pentacles because you are you want to do things on your own every time i say about a potential like collaboration 
this individual, independent, alone energy keeps coming up. Some of you might feel like you work better alone. Maybe that's where, maybe if you don't have your own business already, then again, might, might be your calling here because this is very Virgo energy. Page of Pentacles is about um, taking the first step into doing something and taking action on an idea that can bring you results. It's the Apprentice card, learning as you're growing, earning as you're growing, the hermit, being a teacher, advisor I heard, mentor. judgment yeah judgment is opening the door for you so you are worthy of something make sure that you are doing what you can to get it though because the door is opening but are you gonna walk through it all right which i think you will anyway all right so you have happy family let's clarify that all right we have five of wands the fool and the eight of wands so that's interesting because again that is representing the conflict that you have been through you and your family or maybe you with your family or whatever conflicting times you have the fall and the eight of wands which says that you know there, there could be potentially like a new beginning or a new leap of faith that actually you know brings in a new beginning or maybe things are finally moving in the right direction now and i feel like maybe it's, if we're speaking about if this is you in a community um disagreeing with one another i do see with the full card like a chance is taken and now everything is on the right. Everyone's on the right page. Everyone's moving in the right direction. Everyone's in agreement with something. So I am seeing that there is an agreement of some kind in a family. Um, the full card kind of like, what do I have to lose? Let me go down this route. And it ends up being the right route. With the family, maybe there is movement here, travel. This like carefree energy brings a new cycle and it's in the right direction. Alrighty, my angel. Well, that's what I have for you. I wish you guys all the best. I send you my love. I hope this reading makes sense. Make sure you let me know down below in the comment section. And I hope to see you guys next time. Okay, I send you all my love. And I will see you guys next time.